everybody, Futari no Osan here again and today we're reviewing the earwig and the wig. By, by, by who? Our favorite? Goro Miyazaki. Goro Miyazaki. Not Hayao. Haha, <laughs> you expect Hayao, don't you? Ah, what is Goro? Will Goro uh, surpass his father? Yeah, will he surpass his father? Is it just so? like, it's just like the plot of a shonen. <laughs> Manga. For those who don't know Goro, how can we fill them? Well, Goro is the son of Miyazaki, but sure. you know, Miyazaki is a way disappointed in his work, especially with the uh, tales from Ursi oh, yeah. that tank horribly, yeah. that bring the bad names to Ghibli. And Miyazaki, he walked out yeah. on, his, on that movie's <laughs> premiere. <laughs> he walked out of his own son's movie premiere, right? He doesn't have a How smoke. Embarrassing, man. He doesn't have a smoke. Oh, <laughs> does yeah, I'm gonna go That's the excuse smoke. that he used. <laughs> yeah. So we always uh, laugh about like how yeah. Goro maybe he tried to kill himself after yeah, yeah. his but, dad disowning yeah. him, you know? Yeah, but for me, I, I truly want him to kind of like, you know, defy the expectation and eventually, you know, surpass his father. <laughs> Let's talk about what it's about first. What's what is it about? about? All right. Well, it's about, a, it's about a witch, as you can see. She's dropped off by an orphanage because the mom is being chased by these other witches. There's like 12 or 13 witches. She's like, I can't take care of her. You guys take care of her. Yeah. All right. She just dumb her problem she on all the people. Yeah, she's a baby, you know. Next thing you know, you see her as a, as a like, maybe she's an eight-year-old. She gets adopted by these other witches. But they, they put her to work and all this stuff. So this is a little bit of slice of life, what she does to, like you said, uh, try and uh, gain their favor again. So that's pretty much it. This has a, you know, similar setting to Kiki, Delivery oh, Service, okay. another uh, movie from Ghibli. Yeah. But I like, you know, Ewig better because I like the characters of Ewig better than Kiki, who is a bit too anime tropey mm -hmm. to me. The only complaint I have is about the ending that end a bit too abruptly for my taste and that leave me wanting for more. This is definitely a step up from uh, Goro uh, Miyazaki to save himself from the disaster that was tell from the Earthy. And apparently I think Hayao yeah. also like it. But at this ah. point, I'm not sure if he, he watches being sarcastic, uh, <laughs> if his expectation uh, has hit rock bottom. Uh, <laughs> I don't really know what he's thinking about Goro anymore. Well, what I think is like, oh my God, like, I think I completely put my son in a state of depression. He's going to kill himself if I don't, <laughs> if I don't like, you know, say something good about his movies. I know, right? He's probably like at the edge of like, you know. Fatality. So for this movie, I give it a 9 over 10. It's a very enjoyable experience. I felt like I was watching like a kid's movie, to be honest. Yeah, but well, because it's a kid's movie. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, I guess it was a kid's movie. Um, look, if this is a movie that you can watch with the whole family kind of thing. It's a, it's a nice little adventure, you know. It's got some comedy. Uh, the cat is funny. Yeah. Uh, you know, Sakamoto, right? Yeah, Sakamoto. Sakamoto. <laughs> Yeah. It's just simply like a little like yeah. slice of life uh, it feels good. Yeah. story that you can watch with yeah. your kids or something like that. Yeah. So yeah. you know, uh, give it an average. It's a seven out of t seven out of ten. Oh yeah. Um, like what you mentioned for like the ending. Um, I think it's kind of cool that they're extending it. I don't think there's be more though. I think what? That's it. Are you serious? <laughs> yeah, I'm serious. No, dude. That's why it's so abrupt. No, there has to be more. Well, what do you what? think? Do you think there will be a sequel? Okay, look. If that's true. I'm gonna be very upset. I know, me too. That I, I, I want more. What about so, all the witches? We yeah. never know about the remaining 12 witches. So you were mentioning uh, characters that you really dig uh, Earwig, right? Yeah. Well, why do you dig her so much? Okay, let me tell you why. Do you wanna, do you guys wanna see the flashback? You know, back to when I realized that I like her? Yeah, sure. <laughs> okay. For me, Ewig is like a breath of fresh air that, you know, that she's so different from all the terrible, uh, you know, MCs from the series mm -hmm. that we have reviewed recently. You know, namely, <laughs> namely the one from uh, Beauty and the Beast, uh, Belle, <laughs> or the guy from Platinum End. <laughs> she's, for me, she's a delight to watch and I really enjoy the prank that she pulled on uh, Baba Yaga. Oh, whoops, it's actually Bella Yaga. Uh, <laughs> I think I had, you know, I laughed really hard at that, at that part. <laughs> because we were just watching Belle. 
for me, I think the cast is lovely from the main characters, you know, Bella Yaga to the cat and the Mandrake. So I give it a 9 over 10, you know, a show in which the, the MC is actually the star of the show. Uh, yeah, I do agree with your assessment of uh, Earwig. She was like doing the work, like, oh, you want me to work? Okay, boom. Yeah, but you should teach me meow. Yeah. Magic, you know? Uh, like you mentioned, she's like a brat, you know, she's like yeah. super bratty. Um, it's, a, it's a very, you know, big departure from the typical yeah. Ghibli heroine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 She's yeah. really the only character that I, I think is more scummy than, than, you know, the rest of the Ghibli, you know, uh, female characters yeah, that, yeah. You, that we usually see. And one, one funny thing, one funny part is that I enjoy is when, you know, she saw the worms like dropping off. Like usually most of the kids be like, oh, worms. She She's like, hey, hey, look at this. I'm going to throw it into the worm. <laughs> yeah, I also like uh, Mandrake. Mandrake? He, he was cool. Yeah, I yeah. liked Mandrake. His voice kind of reminded me of like uh, Jotaro. Oh, Jotaro. It kind of reminded me of him. Yeah. Like I'll, I'll check it out later to see if it was his voice. But I was like, wait, that kind of sounds like Jotaro. Okay, the question here is, do you like yeah. him with his like hippie haircut or the haircut uh, that he has now? No, nah, I like the, the one he has now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a big fan of like, that whole like, 70s like hippie, hippie music or whatever. So what do you think of the art? Well, the art is a very controversial subject because it's like the first ever like Ghibli uh, movie that is 3D. For me personally, I enjoy the new artistic direction. I think the character's model look nice, although, you know, they look a bit too shiny or plastic at times. And it was lovely to see the hand draw uh, characters mm -hmm. at the, you know, during the credits, oh, um, yeah. which I think is a nice touch. So yeah, for the art, you know, I'm a bit biased, but I would give it a 10 over 10 for the, you know, refreshing uh, change of direction. I'm typically not a fan of like these 3D type of movies. Yeah. I just, uh, I, I typically don't like them. I give it a 7 out of 10 just because... You know, it wasn't fantastic and it wasn't completely terrible. The last part is about the music. Yeah, the main uh, team, I think I really like the team, the main team song a lot. You know, Don't Disturb Me. Oh. Um, yeah. Don't Disturb Me. Do What's more surprising is I didn't expect to enjoy it as much as I did. Mm. And um, I also, the, another fun fact is the singer is actually not even Japanese. So I think that's pretty cool. Oh, really? Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. She's like American. No, I think she's like Indonesian. Or oh, something. Indonesian. Yeah. Wow, interesting. Yeah. yeah. For the music, I would give it a 10 over 10 too. I really mm. like the theme song and the sultry uh, vocals, you know, from the singer that mix very well with the jazzy um, type of music. I'm kind of biased on like, they have kind of like a negative bias for it because like i said earlier like yeah. i'm not a fan of like that old like classic rock like british classic rock <laughs> like from the se late 70s like early 80s i'm just not a fan of it i don't like you know like led zeppelin and stuff like uh, that and you can kind of tell like that guy um the mandrake he kind of looks like maybe a member of like led zeppelin or something, <laughs> right you know but they did well with like the instrumental and stuff like they did it well again i just give it like a seven out of ten the don't disturb me. I think that that was pretty hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> like I, I like that catchphrase. Like don't disturb me, because like sometimes I feel like that. It's like hey, don't don't disturb me. I'm busy. <laughs> it's like can't you see that I'm busy? Like I, I just love that that was like his thing. You know, it's like oh, <laughs> that was funny. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what did you think overall, man? For me, like I said, again, I give it a very biased score. I give it a ten over ten. I have a very enjoyable experience and. I really do enjoy um, to see Goro and his, you know, departure from the classical style of Ghibli. Um, you know, but, you know, I still feel like I would rather see more hand-drawn uh, movie from Ghibli. Uh, and then maybe some, you know, couple 3D movies like this, this one uh, in between rather than having the 3D, you know, movies replacing the hand-drawn movies. Uh, this is totally like... I give this a seven out of ten because okay. I think it's it's enjoy it's still enjoyable. You can watch it, yeah, but like it, you know, it didn't make me feel a lot. You know, in terms of like exhilarating visuals, uh, amazing music, uh, touching moments, or uh, complex uh, things that I have to think about. It's like, why did they do this? You're not really thinking yeah. during this movie. You're just like you're sitting just in for the experience, and you're just watching. Yeah. So yeah. So you know, a seven out of ten. It's yeah. it's solid. Good job, Goro. Uh, yeah. maybe you're not Very gonna, good. maybe you'll live a couple more years now thanks to your solid <laughs> effort. Nice. Good job. Good job. <laughs> and, uh, all right. And that's it. Off. Our review. See, See you guys, guys next time. time.